Hello everybody, this is Danny and Wanda from Deep South Homestead. We are sitting out in our backyard today. The beautiful azalea trees are blooming behind us. The maple, well, well, you can't see it, but the maples are all bloomed out. It's a sunny, warm day in the Deep South. We had a fire this morning, and look. Look, we're in short sleeves now, but that's South Mississippi for you. And then one thing about this time of the year in South Mississippi, now it is actually February the 15th. We're actually a little past tree planting time for us, but people Any, still do it. Anywhere you know? through March. Well, a lot of people budget through They March. budget through March, but your trees don't stand a good chance of living. But here, we've got in front of us two boxes that come from gurneys. Yes. And inside these boxes are bare root fruit trees. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to open these boxes up. We're going to show you the trees that we've chosen. Now, this was a sponsor by Gurney uh, for Deep South Homestead. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of these trees, why we chose these trees, and possibly where we'll put them at, and just kind of let you see a little bit about uh, some of Gurney's stock that they have to offer to people. Yeah, and Gurney has a farm in Ohio, right? If they have a farm in Ohio, that's where, a matter of fact, it says on here that these came from Ohio. And they um, they test each one of their products before they ship them out to know what's going on with them. And so Gurney's was gracious enough to sponsor us and send us some because they knew we were working on the cabin and we were adding new fruit trees. And so... First off, we got a paper. We got a piece of paper here that says urgent, must read is important plant care. That talks about the different types of uh, like bare root nursery stock, which is what we ordered. Best to place, the best place to keep a dormant bare root nursery stock for a short time is in its original shipping box. Keep the poly liner inside the box closed to retain moisture and a little water as they add a little water as needed to keep it, you know, in a high humidity high inside the liner. Keep the box in a cool, shady place, protected from extreme heat or extreme cold. For extended storage, these items can be weather permitting, can dig a shallow trench, a temporary planting hole, and do what's called healing them in, which we've done that before. Mm -hmm. Cover the roots with soil. That's basically to keep them from drying out and uh, until you can plant them in their permanent location. That's basically what this is. And they send a little brochure here. The same information, your beautiful bare root, and it's just a beautiful trifold thing that tells you all about the bare root, how to plant it, and how to keep it growing. All right, let's see what we got here first. Uh, let's pick these up here. All right. Wow. All right. I have the native plum. Okay, we ordered uh, two of them. A couple of native plums here. These. Uh, to my understanding, was basically a, a, a little bit of a wild stock. They were a really heavy producing plum, like we used to see when our grandparents was around, our parents were around. And Make one some of the best jelly. They my do. mama made plum jelly every year, so I've always wanted some of these wild plums, so I talked him into it. Well, we I think they call them native plums. Native plums. I think that's actually a better word. But regardless, they're usually very heavy producers, and... Gurney's had those in their stock, and Wanda and I decided, after doing a lot of research on the internet, that we would we would love to have these to get started on our property here. So I know these are going to the cabin in the back. These will go behind the cabin in the back, yes, that's correct. Yes, we're trying to get the cabin back as some of the native plants as well as others added in, and that was one reason for native plums. Yes. Now, let's check out this next big one we got here. Now, this is a big old bag. That's several. Yeah. Ooh, let's see here. I see some green. I see some green. Now, we're yeah. not going to do too much with this because we want to be able to cover it back. Yeah, we're going to cover it back. But what we're going to talk about, we've got here, we have a, uh, a Whitney crab tree. Now, Whitney crab is a really good pollinator for a lot of your other apple trees. And because we have so many apple trees on our property here, we thought it a good idea to add the Whitney crab in with what we already have here, especially over at the cabin, because we don't have any good pollinators over at the cabin for our apple trees over yeah. there. And the Whitney crab, not only is it a beautiful flowering tree, it is a beautiful just tree for 
fruit. I mean, they bear. You can eat it. And make make crab apple jelly. We've made that before. We have a flowering crab apple here on this side with the house for our apple tree. So this crab apple goes to the cabin. To the cabin. Okay. Before we. The next one is a peach. Alberta peach. And two Alberta peaches. Well, actually, three. No. No, no, but we have two. two we have two Alberta peaches here. Yes. And, uh, look how pretty. Look at this. Look at the stock of this thing, guys. We were expecting little switches. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what we thought. Maybe we'd just be little <laughs> sticks. But so, Gurney's has surprised us. That, I'm, I'm well, well pleased with this. This yeah, is beautiful. It's still green. You can tell that the trees are still alive. Good. Good healthy trees. I'm gonna say the rootstock is probably a good three quarter inch in diameter at the bottom, maybe a a, a half up at here. And, and we a, will show you that when we plant. Yes, that is. Oh, that's so, nice. And both of the both of the Alberta's are like that. And these are going uh on the hoogle bed or no? Uh, at the cabin. We don't. We've got some peaches at the cabin already, so which way? We've already got some peaches over at the cabin. These might go up on our hoogle bed up here, behind the hoogle bed. Now, not on it, but behind yeah. it. We might put these up there. I think they might would probably do better up there. As you come into the property here, mm -hmm. the hoogle bed's in front of our property. Uh, we have some uh, apricots, and we have uh, one other peach up there that's already blooming. And these but are fixing to bud out. These are fixing to bud out. So I think these would make a beautiful entrance coming into the property. I think so. I so believe that would work. On the back of the hoogle bed. On the back of the hoogle bed. Now here we have a, a plum ruby sweet. Now this is a, uh, the plum ruby sweet, was that a nectarine? No, that's a plum. Or was it, well I mean. It's a plum. Is it a plum? A plum. Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't have the bark of a plum, is what I'm looking at. I think it needs to go with the. Um, the we we lack we lacked one plum on that hill over yonder. That's Haven't, probably what it was. Yeah. That's we lacked one. Remember we we talked about we needed to get another plum. So this is it, the plum ruby sweet. It will go over there on the hill where we lack that one plum. We've got a, a V-shaped orchard started, and we put plums in the front. We only put one, and we needed one more, and then we put apples and. Pears uh, behind well, it. Well, we have pears and then apples up the hill. Okay, pears and then apples. So it's yeah. in a V shape. So that will be our yes. orchard going into the cabin. Yes, so. this will be a great complement. When you first come into the cabin, you go through a road in the woods, and then all of a sudden you pop out, and here's this clearing. Uh, this plum will be the first thing you'll actually see when you come out. Yes. So this will be a very good, uh, uh, a very good entrance into the cabin going back into the woods over here i think that'll work out really well so let's get these covered back up yeah we got a lot of um digging to do a lot of digging we got a lot of rain coming and it's perfect for planting yes wait let me make sure that one's in there all right we don't want to damage them all right oh. set this one over to the side box number one all right turn this box around. Now our trees may come in two or three shipments, am I correct? I'm not sure if this is all of them or not. This, um, I don't think this is all. Uh, we may get another shipment, but at least this is the beginning of the Yeah, this, the is, our, trees. this is our this is our beginning of our trees, yes. Because these are these trees are way bigger than way we bigger than we anticipated. Plus we have. Hold on, let's let's. Uh, we have some more stuff coming. Okay, that's the there's trees. nothing else under. Okay, I just want to be sure there wasn't anything under. I don't want to damage nothing. Uh, we have some small trees. We have a whole bunch of other things coming. These are mainly the. Uh, These are the larger trees. Larger trees. Because we've got some dwarf trees coming, and these yeah. are not them. Okay. Well, you know what I'm sitting here looking at. Or maybe it is. Is it? No. 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 Uh, Okay, this is. I'm gonna pull them out one at a time here. I'm not gonna take the roots out. No. This is a Dorset Apple Golden, which will go to the cabin, now uh, into the apple orchard over there. We know that for a fact. Because it is a pollinator for uh, was the, it the Anna, the Anna apples that we have. Yeah, and here is another apple Dorset Golden. So yeah, these we will be perfect. Here. I thought we put one here because we needed a pollinator here, right? Uh 
need one here? No, we don't need one here. We have the crab apple right here for a pollinator. These will go to the cabin okay. over there. We will be putting them over in that direction. And we have a... Two apricots. Two apricots. Now, you know, we already got some apricots on the hoople bed. Maybe we should put these there instead of the peaches. The Manchurian bush. These are the little... What? these the small ones? Yes. These are going in the greenhouse. Uh... If they're the small ones, I don't. I'm remember. not sure. I'm not sure. We're not sure about that one. There's two of these uh, here. We have the apricot, Manchurian bush. These may be. We're building a new greenhouse. We may put these in the greenhouse if they. Do, we're we're going to check on their their height and everything. We may put these in our greenhouse. This is the moon glow peak. Moon pear. glow pear here. Yes. Now we love the moon glow pear. That is. Probably one of my favorite pears. And we have a giant moon globe pear already by our chicken pen. Yes. And because you never know what could happen to your big fruit trees, we wanted a second one somewhere coming on in case something damaged the older one because we did get blight in it one year. Yeah, we you got blight. I had to cut a lot of it out, yeah. So, so this is kind of like we're starting over again, but yet it's a backup for older trees. Yes. And then Don't we always have, depend on your older trees. Right, and then we have a Granny Smith apple. Yes. So now, this will probably go over to the cabin also. So this we is ever, something that you haven't tried before here. I have never grown a Granny Smith here. Uh, so it's, it's going to be an experiment to see how they do this far south. Yeah. To see if they actually produce. Now the tree will grow, but it's to see if they will actually produce. Okay. So All right. Then, these that, two are the beginning of our gurney shipment, and we're going to add to the video before we put it up. I'm just saying that because I know i got to do yeah. that. Um, so we will be unboxing a couple more boxes and showing you what is in them. Yes, we got a couple more boxes we think coming from gurneys because this is not all that we ordered from them. Yes. Uh, but I'm going to tell you from what I see right now, I'm very well pleased with what I see. So. Yes, and so we are going to have a link in the description below for gurneys. It will be a, a promo code, and so check them out. We really, just opening the box, we are surprised. We are I'm, very well pleased. I'm very well pleased. I'll be honest with you, I was expecting something this tall. Yes, I was too. You know, so this, uh, this right here tells me that we made a wise choice by contacting gurneys. All right, we just got our second shipment of trees in from Gurney. And we want to thank Gurney once again for sponsoring us here at Deep South Hom Homestead. Uh, we're going to open the box now and we're going to take out each individual tree that we have here. We're going to take a look at it and see what we think about it. Yes, because so far we've been very pleased. We've been very with pleased Gurney. so far with Gurneys. That's and it. with trees. Yep. And this was the next shipment. Um, Danny and I are adding lots and lots of trees to our homestead this year. Every year we always We add usually trees. add some trees every year. And so oh. this year we wanted to add a couple of dwarf trees. And let's see. Let's see here. Let's look at our blueberries first. Now this is the Biloxi blueberry. Um, Plant in full sun. It, um, it, uh, it comes in a... Gets to five to six feet. I'm going to say this is about a six long tapered. Uh, and we have two of we these. We have two of these, yeah. And there's green there's in it. There's a lot of green in it. The thing the that leaves. I'm looking at, the leaves are the leaves are shriveled up, which means that it's suffering from a lack of moisture, but that's probably because of shipping. I'll put it in some water pretty quick. But it's in um, a tube like it was. It's like a, a tapered pointed. tube, yeah, yeah, like a pointed tube. So they grew it long, which gives the. The, um, the root system goes deep. Yeah. Because it's a lot not, of bare roots, you just get the roots. You, just you don't get, a get few, yeah. this. These are not like they're in a pot where they're wrapped all around it and root bound. Yes. These are all growing straight down. And they and look can, good. You can probably take a pole soap digger and dig a hole in the ground. This thing would fit in there perfect. Yeah, you can see the little hair roots and stuff on the sides yeah. and the long roots on this one. And it would be hard for me to show you because they're so tiny. But they're growing straight down. They're not twisted yes. and messed up. I, I so. like that so far. Now this... 
Um, so these are the Biloxi blueberries, and we now, thought we would try those. I, I have noticed this one here looks a little rough on the top right here, but that looked, that's okay. We're going yeah, to prune them back a little bit anyway. we got to prune them. And then we have one that we ordered. This is our uh, This is a North Blue Dwarf blueberry that we ordered from them. These uh, get five to six feet. This one, this gets one only gets two to two three feet. Three. Yes. And we did this because we're building a greenhouse, and we do want dwarf plants in our greenhouse so this will be the blueberry for the greenhouse yes this one um now this one actually has some moisture in it yeah you can tell uh, you can tell i can feel the difference in it and i look at it and i can see the dampness in there so this one definitely has some moisture in it so that's another blueberry and we ordered two of the red latham uh, raspberries. raspberries and we're, these are going to the um cabin it says they get four to six feet tall so that's yes. pretty tall Danny's going to put some type of um, piece of... I'll probably put some cattle panel cattle up. Panel up. Yeah, piece, that's, we, we have a piece left over. We thought we would use that and put these two maybe on one side or either put one on each side. We haven't decided yet. And probably we'll get more of these. If these seem to, the red raspberries seem to do well, yeah. we have the wild variety. We have the wild ones, yes. So we, these are the canin, right? Yeah, these make canes. Now these can go in... These don't really need to be full sun, but they can go full sun to partial shade. Now, in the deep south, when you see the word full sh full sun, <laughs> that means about six hours of sunshine because of our heat and humidity here. So it um, doesn't mean full sun. It doesn't for mean 12, 12 hours. to 14 hours of sunshine. <laughs> it means six hours is what that literally means. So and we've got the perfect place at the we, cabin. We do have the perfect place at the cabin. We're going to be putting these out, uh, those two red Lathams, they're supposed to be for our area. So I'm, I'm, I'm well pleased with what I see right here. Um, the only, I guess if there was ever, a, if I would see a drawback to it, would be that the blueberries could use a little more moisture. Yeah. Well, if that would be the only but drawback. they're still green. Still but they're good. still green. They still look and good. And it looks like this one is fixing to put out some leaves. Fixing bud. Is that it's, bud? Yeah, that's bud. Oh, okay. It's fixing so. to start budding there. So. Um, we, I think we got them just at the right time. We want to thank Gurney's for sponsoring us with these new plants that we've gotten so far. And we will show you planting them and where we're going to be planting them in the next video. Guys, if you're interested in ordering trees, uh, whether uh, brambles, trees, seeds, anything like that from Gurney's, uh, check in the description down below. We have a link down there to all their products and stuff. Use the promo code 25DEEPSOUTH and you will receive 25% off your order. And use the link that we put down in the description. It will take you straight to Gurney's and all their products. I think that you'll be satisfied with their products. Thus far, we have been very satisfied. We still have a few more products coming at the end of March. We're looking forward to those. They're just uh, they're, they're temperature sensitive things. Yes. So we're going to wait till we get them to actually do the next video on the unboxing of those. But at this point, guys, we are really uh, we're really satisfied with what we've gotten from Gurney's. Next, we'll be showing you where we're going to be planting all these trees. Deep South is becoming a food forest. Yes. Thank you, guys, from Deep South Homestead.